All right. Um, I should have done this a while ago. Um, I've always wanted to blog my progress, and I finally just started this past year or so. Um, I've been off and on with it. This was inspired by somebody else on Tumblr who is very strong, and I, I felt like I needed one. Um, I have trichotillomania, and I've had it since I was five. I pulled my hair um, and my eyelashes. I went through phases where I had no eyelashes whatsoever on my eyes till I would bleed. Um, I had bald spots on my head. I got made fun of. I got called a freak. And I developed a major complex thinking that the only way to be beautiful was to have a flood of luscious hair and have thick, long, beautiful eyelashes. And I never felt normal, and I still never, I don't, I probably never will feel normal. I don't know what that is anymore. But, being strong about something like this is really hard because nobody understands that you can be sick in your mind. It's not about being psycho. Everybody goes through their own things in life. Um, I've picked at my skin um, for a good four years, and I didn't even know what that was. I've never been diagnosed with trichotillomania. I didn't need to be. I didn't need to go to a doctor to know what I have. When I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety, that was a given. We all knew the science for that, but people don't understand that when you have a compulsion, you can't stop. It's not about simply stopping. I would pull without knowing it. I would pull, and it felt good. It was... It was coping. It was help. It was... It was the only thing that was mine. And it was hard. I remember... My first memory... I was playing with Play-Doh. And I noticed an eyelash had fell out. And I asked my grandmother why. And she said, just blow on it and make a wish. And I thought they were magical. And as the years progressed, I pulled more and I pulled more. I don't know if I ever made wishes anymore, but I... I can't get that memory out of my head, thinking maybe it was a trigger, thinking, you know, someone should have seen the sign. You don't know when you're that young. You don't know that it's not normal. You don't judge. And then when you get older and you realize Nobody else does this but me. It affects your self-esteem. You know, I've I've had my own issues despite pulling my hair and picking out my skin, but these were the ones that really they really affected me. When my family noticed. I I would get stressed out and all of a sudden, all my eyelashes were gone. Um, my hairline would go back. 
Um, I would pick at my bangs. I would pick at my little hairs over here. I think I went through a phase where I picked at my eyebrows too. And, you know, all I would say is stop. Stop picking. And they don't understand. They don't just stop. When you're already an impulsive person like I am, you're prone to addiction, and honestly, it's one of my healthier ones. Um, I've battled many addictions, healthy and not healthy, and... This is the one that I finally have control. Like, I'm conscious of it. I know. And I think that's what got me through it. I, I started doing research on it a couple months ago, and my mom... What are you looking at? Why are you researching it? If you focus on it, you'll only think about it more. And here I'm thinking... I'm not alone. There are other people that go through this that understand that I can talk to. There's a name for it. There's a freaking name for it, people. <sighs> That's why I looked it up. That's why I wanted to know why I'm different. And I'm not afraid of it anymore. I have been <sighs> pull free the entire month of June. And I can't tell you how exhilarating it is to have a set of eyelashes on both eyes. They may be small and they may be babies and you know, if someone asks, I don't care anymore. I don't care. Because they're mine. And nobody can take it from me. My depression can't take it from me. My anxiety can't take it from me. Trichotillomania is mine. And other people go through it too. And I just want everyone to know, you can get over it. You can help yourself. It's, it's not impossible. I'm 19 and I will probably have it for the rest of my life. But if I know I'm strong now, imagine where I'll be down the line. You know, I, I see so many other strong people and I wish, I wish I could just hug them. You know, because... Yeah, we go about our daily lives alone without these people, but when we get home, we know that there's other people out there. And that's a really big deal. You know, and I try telling my family there's other people who go through it and they might not understand why I talk to some people or keep track of it on my blog but that's okay you know if they see me getting better they don't need to question how I'm doing it and I know it's for me this is for me and my life and my future and if my kids have it I'll help them I'll know the signs I'll look for you know pain, suffering, I'll make sure they know they can talk about anything, and I think it's important for everyone who has their own issues to take control over them, whether or not you have to wash your hands 50 times, you have to lock your door three times, you pull your hair, you pick your skin, you pick your teeth, you fuss all the time, um, I don't care. You're beautiful and you're strong and you can get through anything. We're human and we have that ability. 
I... I'm a female living in this mainstream, sex-saturated, beauty-driven, shallow world, and I'm here. You know, I don't care what I look like to anybody else. I want to be beautiful in my eyes. And I'm okay with who I am. I know I'm beautiful. And I wish I could tell everybody else that they are too. And I know it sounds cliche, but Lady Gaga's got it pretty good. You're born this way and you need to accept it. You need to accept it, you need to realize it, and you need to move on. And you just need to make sure you stay strong, because you can be. Despite how hard life gets, you can be strong. There's plenty of proof out there that you can be strong. So don't give up. Ever. And I would take a picture... But it's kind of hard to get all up in this business. But one day I'll take a picture and I'll be proud of myself and I'll share it with the rest of the world. But for now, I'll just keep it mine. I just wanted to share with the world where I'm at. So if you're going through this or if you have or if you have other problems, I don't care who you are, I don't care if you tell me your name, I'm open, I'm here, and there's plenty of other people who will be there for you too, you're not alone.